Welcome to another video of my playlist about reinforcement in Revit. Today we will be covering how we can automize fabric areas with Dynamo. First, we will have a look at how we can actually create fabric areas with Dynamo. Then we will have a look at how we can change settings of fabric areas like location, type and major direction. And then in the end, we will have a look at how we can leverage Dynamo and apply a script to multiple floors and scripts within one project. So let's get started. So we're using the same file as we did for our path reinforcement with Dynamo tutorial again. And we have three slabs here that are modeled as floors and we have some concrete columns to give it a more realistic view. Okay, now let to get started with Dynamo, we click on the Manage tab and then in the right corner, we have the button Dynamo. We simply click on that and then Dynamo is popping up. Okay, so now once Dynamo has popped up, we simply go to New and we are building a script from scratch. Before we're getting started, I just want to isolate those three floor elements. Um, it's a bit distracting with the columns and with the levels. And now the first thing we want to do in Dynamo is we want to change from automatic to manual mode so that the script is not running all the time. And then the second thing is we want to install the structural design package. Now I have already installed it, but for those who haven't, go to the packages tab and then search for a package. Then this window pops up. We're waiting until it's syncing. And then we search for structural design. And there we have it. And then simply click on install latest version. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. Um, all right, now let's start with building the script. So we go to the structural design package, then we go to rebar, and then we want to create something. So we click on create, and we want to create a fabric area. So we select that one, and then we go on the, to create. And then this node pops up, and that is basically the node that is creating our fabric area, or fabric areas. Now, it's not as many inputs as we had in the other tutorials for path reinforcement and area reinforcement, but uh, let's see what we have and I'll walk you through. First input is host element. So as always, we need a um, host element for our rebars. That's gonna be our floor. Simply select that one with select model element and then we connect those two. Ne next one is major direction. So we need a vector. First off, we need to select a edge, which then gives us our vector. So we're selecting a edge here. This one, this is gonna be our major direction. And then, but the input as you could see is vector. So we need to trans form this curve into a vector. And I'm gonna use the node line direction for that. There's other ways to do that as well, but this is the quickest. And then we connect those. The next one is fabric sheet type ID. So in order to get that, we need to go to structural design, rebar, then we go to the properties. And then we have here fabric sheet type. Now you can also see we have fabric location and fabric lab splice position. So we can also click on those because we need them later. Now what we have here is all of our types that we have loaded into our project. So if you go with the first one, simply select that one. Next one is location. 
again this is that one that we just selected um, for now we want to have it at the bottom and then uh, we want we need the input of lab splice position and then we can see we have a few options let's go with major passing stagger and we got all the inputs we don't want to add any additional cover that is just to yeah to offset our um, rebars from our cover or face but let's try it and let's run it and there you see how quickly it was created and we have here again our structural fabric areas and then we also have our structural fabric reinforcement again I talked a lot about that in my last video how we can create that with Revit if you haven't seen that check it out the link will be in the description below okay so let's go back to Dynamo and see uh, what we can change now I want to select the other edge and see how quickly we can just change um, our major direction and there you see how it changed very nice because if you have to do that manually you have to go into Revit you have to select your fabric areas double click and then you have to select major direction like um, you have to click here and then select another edge Whereas we just did one click and it automatically did the job for us. Um, then we can, of course, simply just change the fabric sheet types. Let's run it. Run completed and it changed them. Let's do it again. That one. Yeah, and there was more obvious. That we got a different map now a different fabric area and now we want to change from bottom to top let's run it and now very quickly change the whole system from bottom to top all right so now we have done it for one slab now the benefit of using dynamo is actually to apply our scripts to multiple objects which we yeah usually it's very it takes a long time to just copy and paste things in revit manually to different objects especially if they are rotated or yeah not completely underneath all right so now we simply need to change select model element to model elements model elements click that one I'm just deleting our reinforcement now use this node now instead of the other one post elements line direction sh should be fine if it's only one then we need to select the fabric sheet type and we can let it run and see what's gonna happen and there we go you see how quickly that that worked and that is really the how we can leverage dynamo i hope this video was useful to you and that you can apply what you just saw at work or in a uni project if it helped you then please hit the like button because it gives me the feedback that my videos are helping the community and that I can produce more of this content. If you want to learn more about reinforcement, then check out my reinforcement playlist. The link is in the description below. And there will come more of those videos about reinforcement in the next weeks. So I hope I will see you there. And thanks for watching.